everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. I come to you once again looking absolutely crazy and hopefully you know what that means. Um, this is a series that I do on my channel called Eyebrow Ranting and it's where I do my eyebrows with you guys and rant about whatever the hell I want to. So today I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Draw and Fill. I use the shade Honey Brown and then I almost always set my brows with the Benefit Gimme Brow. And today we're going to talk about being a Leo. So this is a little bit more serious, if you will, than the last one that I did. And if there are any Leos out there, please let me know down below because this is just so fun for me to talk about. If you don't know, I'm a Leo. My birthday is August 15th, 2001, born in the year of the snake. Leo. Okay, cool. So there's this like... I don't know, feeling in the atmosphere, in my opinion, that everybody just thinks that their sign is the best sign, all right? And I don't know if any of you guys have ever met a Leo, but every single one of us, we're very outgoing, we're very opinionated, and when you first meet us, it's like we're too happy to be real people. Like, I think that that's something that everybody that's ever met me has said. It's like when they first met me, this is, their, this is your first impression of a Leo. So you look at them and you don't know them yet, right? And so if you don't know them, you've never talked to them before, they're intimidating because they walk around with a resting bitch face. Every single Leo does it. Every single one. And so, if you've never met a Leo before, and you don't know that they're a Leo, and you've never talked to them, you're just intimidated by them because they're like, why are you mad at everything, all right? And then you meet them, and your first response when they open their mouth is, you have way too much energy, get the f*** away from me, all right? That's what you have the feeling of when you first talk to a Leo. And so their, like, public interactions with people, they're just very, energe very energetic, very happy, but, like, if you ever saw them just walking around, they're, like, scary looking, all right? Here's the thing. For those of you that aren't Leos, I don't think that you will relate to this. Maybe if you're, like, a Scorpio or a Gemini, it's possible. But, like, Scorpios and Geminis, I feel like, have very different circumstances. We're talking about Leos today. So, every single Leo, like I said, comes off extremely, extremely, extremely happy to the point of like, there's no way that this can be a real person because no real person is that happy, right? You're absolutely correct, okay? Every single Leo, every single one, there is not a single Leo on this planet that does not come off super happy one. But there's also not a single Leo on the planet that isn't hiding something, okay? Every single one of us have something that we're hiding that just makes us, like, super mentally messed up, all right? And I don't know if you've ever met a Leo and gotten super close to one, but if you're not super close to a Leo, they're not going to talk to you either, okay? So, like, I know this for me personally. I don't like talking to people about what makes me messed up in the head because every single one of us has something kooky going on in our brains, all right? Every single one. So, I, I don't know. I mean, that's really all that I have to say about this one, but like, it's just, everybody says that Geminis are the ones that are two-faced, but it's like Leos, they're either, like, you meet them and they're super, super happy, right? And then you get to know them and you're like, why are you so depressed? Because you actually start talking to them, and you can you get this feeling eventually that they're hiding something, but you don't know what they're hiding. And then you get to know them, and they're, like, packing some real, real deep shit. And so, uh, I don't know if anybody else out there has felt like this, but if there's any other Leos, and you've gone through the same situation, please, please, please let me know because I have not met a single Leo that doesn't come off super, super happy and then deep down they're like extremely depressed about something. 
So, like, um, yeah, if you ever meet a Leo, keep that in mind, because they will come off as the happiest people on planet Earth, and then you'll start talking to them, and you'll be like, oh, I didn't know that that person died and made you went and spiraled into psychosis. Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of shit that every single Leo is hiding, all right? Promise. I promise you. Anyways, like I said, this one was a lot more serious than my last one and probably was just me rambling and being super weird and not really talking about the, the point that I had in my brain because my brain is a jumbled up mess like every single Leo on the freaking planet. So, if you want to watch one that's just me screaming about bathing, go ahead and click right over there. <laughs> and if you would like to subscribe to my channel, which I urge you to do, please do that. Go ahead and click right over here and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.